Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Call to all Armenians of Armenia and all Armenians scattered around the world. Moscow finally talks about the 1921 treaty. Snow cleaning works are underway in Mount Nambut. December 9 as the International Day of Commemoration of the Victims of the Crime of Genocide. An East Town Poetry exhibition opens in course. Taking into account the fact that the Turkish government exerted pressure on the members of the body organizing the patriarchal elections in Constantinople, also of the fact that the charter imposed by Turkish government contradicts the previous five patriarchal elections charter and also contradicts the Treaty of Lausanne and the Turkish government's obligations under the international agreement in general, as the Council of Armenians of Constantinople and the indigenous children of Western Armenia, we declare these patriarchal elections invalid and unlawful and therefore the patriarch elected on December 11, 2019 is also rejected and unacceptable for us. On this occasion, as the descendants of the Council of Armenians of Constantinople and Western Armenia, we officially announce that we will restore the Patriarchate of Constantinople and Karin, temporarily having residence in Switzerland. Council of Armenians of Constantinople Russian Federation State Duma Deputy Konstantin Zatulin referred to Garigin Nishde in an article published in the Moscow Komsomolets newspaper. He wrote that Nishde was a hero for the activities carried out during World War I and the fight against Turkey, and did not justly really trust the Bolsheviks as they had agreement with Ataturk and as a result Turkey had acquired Kars, Ardahan and other territories. We are talking about the Russian-Turkish treaties of 1921. Earlier, Russian analyst Stanislav Taras spoke about these contracts noting that Moscow, however, twice attempted to withdraw from the treaty but failed. In Russian political and analytical circles, these treaties began to be talked about the recognition of genocide against Armenians in Congress. The significance of this decision and the so-called universalism in the Armenian environment do not seem to be realized in the wider international context, but the same cannot be said about the beneficiaries of the Moscow, Baku and Ankara treaties of 1921, who have understood this well. In Baku, people started talking about Nahijevan and the spokesman of the Ankara embassy in Baku stated that Armenia does not recognize the Turkish border, which was set in 1921. He stated that the relations with Armenia can be normalized after Armenia frees Karabakh, recognizes the border with Turkey and refuses from territorial and other demands. You can find the full article on our official website. The open air and house museum in the Samosat province of western Armenia, Mount Nemrut, is covered with a thick layer of snow. Mount Nemrut is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List and is considered as the eighth wonder of the world. With 2,206 meters height, snow-covered mountain and the roads are now constantly being cleared by special cars. In 2015, the United Nations General Assembly declared December 9 as the International Day of Remembrance and Dignity of the Victims of the Genocide and the Prevention of this Crime. In 1948, the same day, through the efforts of lawyer Raphael Lemkin, who was also the author of the term Genocide, the Convention on the Prevention and the Punishment of the Crime of Genocide was adopted. It was approved by the 80 members of the Assembly. The initiative stems from the genocide prevention provisions represented by Armenia. On December 9, on the occasion of the International Day of Remembrance and Dignity of the Victims of Genocide, Armenia's highest leadership visited the Zernakobert Memorial Complex and laid flower at the eternal fire in memory of the innocent victims of the genocide against Armenians of 1915. The government of Western Armenia expresses its support and agreement to this initiative. Let us remind that in the occupied territories of Western Armenia from 18 to 1923, the Armenian indigenous population were subjected to genocide by three Turkish governments. In Kars, Namik Kemal House of Culture opened an exhibition entitled Anistan Poetry, Treasures of Architecture at the Crossroads of Cultures. The exhibition will feature photographs by Ara Güler, Martin Manukyan, Murat German, Vedat Akchayos, and videos by Umit Givanchi and Engin Akisar. The exhibition has been open since December 6. Now let us represent your attention a song Karin Kerti.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.